I'm just going to have to get used to uh, talking with our teeth for a few months, they tell me. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of dental work being done to my mouth and it's, it's not going to be resolved until about mid next year or the end of next year if I'm, well, mid next year if I'm lucky, the end of next year if I'm not so lucky, so they tell me. Although I've got to say that they've been saying this for a couple of years now. So, yeah, um, it's very embarrassing not having teeth and, and sounding a little bit odd when I speak. But it is what it is. Maybe this is um, just to teach me a little bit more humility. I don't know. We'll find out. So this is the battery that I have on this particular recumbent. And uh, uh, we've got a granny drive on the front as well on the schlump. And it's just over there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm hitting it with my heel. There we go. So... That makes uh, riding a lot easier. And I also have a, uh, a motor on the back. The motor is uh, actually in the, in the wheel hub on the rear wheel. Love these jacaranda flowers. I'm trying to get in the habit of um, doing a few different angles while I'm riding. Quite a steep decline this, so I'm going to have to Ride the brakes in a moment. This is going to be interesting. Here we go. You're right. Just letting you know I'm here. He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know what this is. <laughs> yeah. Coming through on your right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, some construction taking place here by the look of it. Of course. Just make sure there's nobody coming. Hit the overpass button to get across. And I'm just pushing it across. There we go. Oh, that was that was quick. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. Go. We're going to uh, Lake Kawangba today. That's where we're hoping to go. Okay, we've just missed a train that's gone through the station here. Um, too busy trying to get myself organized on this for coming and get used to it as well, because I don't ride this very often. I've ridden it perhaps twice in the past, for short distances. This is the, the longest that I'm using it today, because this battery needs to be used so that it um, can be discharged through a strain on it, you know? This is going to be very fun. It's quite busy on this road. So as you can see, and we're opposite the um, golf course. A lot of traffic. Riding alongside the Narangbar Road. We've got this little path that runs through the um, bushes. It's very pretty actually. If it weren't for the traffic, it would be beautiful. But um, you know, it is what it is. So we're going down a pretty steep decline here, very steep decline. So uh, yeah, here we go. They're beautiful in here. It is really beautiful in here. And this is where I have to use the motor to help me get out of here. I've got to say that um, on my normal little Rita, my X5, this would be challenging. 
<laughs> this is a breeze uh, on, on Alona 1. This was Veronica's original recumbent. Um, it's not suitable for her though. Um, in a pinch it'll do, but uh, yeah, not long term, it's definitely not suitable. It has way too much power. And uh, Veronica will get herself into an awful lot of trouble. She tends to run ahead of us occasionally because she's got the power to do so. And if she has this one, she's gonna get herself into real strife, so yeah. Um, anyway, enough about that. I changed those gears down rather harshly. To get up this rise, which again would be a challenge for me on my normal recumbent. But I gotta say, that's what keeps us fit. You need that to keep fit. Because with this uh, heart condition of mine, recently had a few issues where the heartbeat was too slow, and um, so I had to go and get checked out and had to wear a device for 24 hours uh, to measure the heart rate and things like that. So, um, doctors got the reports, I haven't heard anything, so. No news is good news, as they say. This is a nice wide path, this is beautiful. Really enjoying this ride. Fantastic, and I absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely love this recumbent. I actually love mine even more, but this is, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. All the green speeds, actually, I absolutely love them, and I'm say that there are other brands out there that are um, almost as good, let's put it that way. <laughs> That'll stir a few of you up, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, and sometimes we need to be stirred up, eh? Uh, protecting some trees by the look of it. Can't see any other reason why they would have these cages here. I don't know what that is for. You would think it was protecting a tree, but I don't know, it doesn't look like it. It's a little bit odd. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is a centenary of scouting reserve, commemorating 100 years of scouting in Queensland. So it was put up in 2008. Very wonderful. And there's a project notice up there. Let's go and have a look. It's a road upgrade. Torrens Road. Rangby Road. This is a very heavy recumbent. Mine's very light. When I say mine, I'm talking about the X5. And uh, well, it's only mine because I'm the one that rides it most of the time. Veronica has been on it, um, but she doesn't like it very much. <laughs> well, that's all right. Let me just move that pedal around. Because yeah. I can't wear the clipless shoes uh, or any sort of clip on to the pedals because I have to constantly move my feet around because I have this disease called PAD, peripheral artery disease. And so that's why I use the pedals that I do. And I would like a broader pedal actually. But I need these duels on here. As you'll see. There's clippers on one side. And plane on the other. You're probably wondering why I showed you the clip section. When I'm talking about clipless. It's because that style is called clipless. Okay, I'm going to cross over now and go down Torrens Road. So, going down Torrens Road now. This is pretty steep, this. So, I want to record this at the same time. I want to um, use both brakes. <laughs> Doesn't look as I'm going to be able to do that. 
so um, yeah. still on Torrens Road and the lake is just down the bottom of this little road number 47 here I'm not sure what they do but they've got an interesting yard so have a look at this I suspect that that's for photographers or maybe for weddings or for, for something I'm not sure what but um, interesting interesting many things and, Front or, front or something like that, it's just a, like a studio backdrop. So, a yeah, very interesting place. I mean, one of these days I'll go over there and ask them what it's all about. Got to say that these um, challenging climbs are no challenge at all when you've got a bit of a motor to give you a hand. You can get used to this in a hurry. Yeah. Gonna try and cross this road now, this is gonna be interesting. Use this person's driveway. Oh, that wasn't too difficult. There we are at the lake. Morning. Coming looking for a feed, are you? Lake Kwangba Recreational Fishery. Ah, I see they probably add fish to this, but we'll find out in due course. Have a look at that. This is another paddlecraft launch launch point. I have flown the drone around here and I should bring the drone back to do a little bit more flying around here. Like sitting on the road, do you? Hey? We'll go quite slow. We'll see how close we can get to these guys. You're going to wander off, are you? Hey? Yeah, we're going to try and cross this road. Here's this flamboyant tree. Oh, beautiful. I think it's called a flamboyant. Kids call it the flame tree, so I'm assuming that that is the flamboyant. Going down uh, Beeble Road, which uh, was Torrens Road, but as we come around the bend, it becomes Beeble Road. And I was talking about that as we were coming around the bend, but I'd forgotten to turn my microphone back on. I'm having to use both hands on the handlebars coming down this is a very, very, very steep road. Um, so I've got to have both hands on brakes. And so my camera's going to be showing a bit of them on mudguard, I guess. But well, that's all right. Here we are at the shopping center. There's a pharmacy, a vet surgery, shops. It's expanded a fair bit since we lived here. We used to walk through that empty paddock there. 
This was all empty paddock back then. It was just a small shopping centre here. Um, IGA has always been here. Let's see if there's a place to have a coffee. There's a bakehouse, seafood takeaway, real estate, British forest, shopping village. We don't know what the name of that um, street is that we're going down there, but next to the um, childcare centre. Here we are, Vera Murray Park, and obviously some works are taking place. I've had to come off the path. These are the tree specialists. It's uh, very busy around here for these guys. I've got to get back on my path. This is an assumption that I'm making. Going along the creek. And that looks like Dabra Road over there. So. This is awesome. Nice little bridge over here. Yeah. Okay, so we've come across the road, it was a little bit of a challenge, but we got there. And we're going to go around and follow this creek a little bit, I believe. So we could go up there and go down um, Young's Crossing Road, but we're not going to do that. We're going to see where this leads to. I think this leads back to Young's Crossing Road by the look of it. Maybe, don't know. We'll find out. Oh, yes. Okay, I've just come out of that pathway there, onto this road. There we are, there's our little beauty. And we're going to see where this road goes. This is. You can hear cars and traffic and that over there. So I've got a sneaking suspicion that I need to go this way. So I could have come down that little path there. I'm going to cross over this bridge here. what mode I'm in, or follow mode. Yeah. So I can actually have a look down there, there's a creek. Yeah. Ooh, big branch across, big tree across there. You can hear the motor kicking in, yeah? Read by example, what is this? Yep, yeah, that is Young's Crossing right there. Okay, North Pine. Let's go and have a look and see where this goes. This is interesting. I think I could have come around this because I've just come up and around there. So I suspect that I could have come this way. I just want to go and have a look and see if there is a way through here. Uh, I can see what this object notices. Oh yes. Waterway rehabilitation. Ah. So let's just. Hmm, okay. Let's see where this path goes. There's the bridge that I came over. So, yes, had I just kept going, I would have come around here. Yeah. And I wonder where this goes. Let's go and have a look and see. Go and have a look and see where this goes. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Yeah, 
turn that off because it's going to kill my battery. This is Young's Crossing Road. This is Young's Crossing just over here. So I'm about to go around this corner. Crossing. Love that creek. Right now, just got to get through all this lot without. Um, uh, this is um, horse dung. And up we go. bit of a horse stud there. These people um, breed horses, I think, or they may just train the horses, I don't know, but um, I often see horses in the paddocks around here. So there we go, there's a horse there now. Bus depot over there, it says Thompson's. Bus depot. There we go, some horses, and they're having a bit of a feed. Some more horses down there. So they've got a, an area that they work them, clearly. And uh, the odor is very, very strong. Horse odor. Okay. Gonna head toward um, North Pine Dam and Bullocky's Rest. That's our destination today, Samson. Lake Samson Vale or Bullockies Rest. Um, so I'll be going up that road there. Now there's no path there. I've got to share it with uh, traffic, which is a little bit of a scary thought, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I've got to watch out. There's a very little road, yeah. Here comes the car passing me now. More horses in the paddock over there. get off this road and go onto that footpath over there. Shortly. Well, when I get to Bullock's Rest anyway. I think I've got to come off here and go back onto the road. So, let's go and have a look and see. Oh, yes, there he is. Gotta get back onto the road. There's no path along here. It would be nice if there was. And then the elderly with their mobility scooters could actually get to the um, to Bullock's, Bullocky's Rest. up this hill they would have to give you a leeway because there's no footpath here and you'd be going very very slowly if you were not motorized so this is a bit of a concern in fact it's a much of a concern because it's a double white line and there is no way that you can you'd be holding the traffic up and it's right on a bend as well so would not be very good. There's a bit of battery here. Get it around here very quickly, or as quickly as possible. One back down, and now I'm past the double white lines, so people can actually overtake me. And there's Lake Simpson Vale. Okay, give 
we go. Cross over. Work your wrist. No domestic animals. Oh. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Ooh. Yeah, not the most pleasant thing going across the cattle. Good, maybe I should have got off and pushed. Because I risk... Uh, <laughs> that's the way to do it in the hammock. That's a swan. Lake Samson Vale, Bullocky's Rest. There's a little bit of information about it. And it's time to enjoy the winter of our years. And uh, very apt on a day like this, you know. It's, uh, it's very overcast, which is great because it's not too hot. The sun's not blazing down on us. Because we are. I'm going to put some rubber around that water bottle, I think. Um, so that it doesn't rattle quite so much. I was thinking of putting rubber on the on the stand, but I won't do that on the um, holders. But I'll put it on the actual water bottle. Um, I've got um, some old tube there. What I might do is just slide a piece of tube over that. I'll have to stretch it quite a lot, so I don't know whether it's going to work. But hey, you know what? We can only but try. Well, I'm going to end this video now with a uh, drone shot that I took a while ago, but um, I may as well put it in here so that you can see how beautiful this place is. And um, don't forget, if you did like the video, to give it a thumbs up, share it far and wide, subscribe, and uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified whenever we do post something new. See you later. God bless.